Hey guys, it's been a little minute. You know, I've been in the quiet place with the Lord. Normally when I go, you know, ghost like that, it's usually because of that. Like there are things that the Lord is developing in me or speaking to me specifically, or overall, he just hasn't given me a word to share. And I am not in the business of making stuff up just to say that I came on here and said something. And so I don't even know, you know, in the new year, what our schedule is going to look like for posting or anything like that. But let me get to the point. Anyway, I wanted to say that sometimes, and not really sometimes, all the time, we have to get into the habit of asking the Lord, is this thing a distraction or is it something that requires my attention? And so it really goes both ways. Sometimes we're giving our attention to things that are actually distractions. And then the opposite is true too. Sometimes when God has given us an assignment, given us something to do, given us an instruction, we're so laser focused on that thing that when anything comes up, that, you know, causes you to have to divert your focus a bit or, you know, to give energy to something different than that one thing that the Lord has given you, we automatically call it a distraction. Or maybe, you know, let me not speak for you. I know there have been times when I did that, when I'm like, oh, no, this is a distraction because the Lord told me to do X, Y, and Z. And now it's trying to get my attention and my energy on this other thing. But sometimes it actually is the Lord saying that in order for you to effectively do whatever else, and maybe it's related or unrelated to the assignment at hand, But he's actually calling you to give your attention and energy to a specific thing that needs your attention and energy in the moment. It is not a distraction. And so long story long, it's really important that when things arise in our lives, we make an intentional effort to ask the Lord, is this a distraction or is this something that you want me to actually give attention to? And then we can move accordingly. If it's a distraction, we can swat it and ignore it and keep it moving, rebuke it if necessary. But if it's something that the Lord wants you to give your attention to, then you are able to be intentional about giving your atten- attention to that thing until you know the Lord says it is handled and it's time to move forward. And so definitely go about asking the Lord that intentionally. That was something that the Lord kind of you know highlighted to me this week. You know, there are certain things that in business he's been telling me to do, and then there was something that arose that really took my <laughs> attention off of that for a little while. When I say off of it, I was still you know doing the things in business, don't get me wrong, but the laser focus that I expected to have, you know, was kind of diverted or split or however you want to say it. And, you know, I'm over here trying to swat it and blah, blah, blah. And it kept coming up. And so I'm like, all right, Lord, you know, is this something that you actually want me to give attention to? And it was, it was something that needed to be dealt with intentionally that I needed to get quiet with the Lord and, you know, really uh, focus in on for a bit and allow him to lead and guide me and whatever else he wanted to do in those moments. But I could have swatted it off as a distraction and not been, uh, what is the word? Not successful. I can't think of the word. Um, Purposeful. The purpose of whatever he was trying to get me to pay attention to and the outcome he wanted to come from it, I would have missed out on it if I would have swatted it off as a distraction. And so overall, let's get in the habit, especially as we move into 2024. I know the Lord's been speaking to us about how you know, there are certain things he's going to do next year and that he'll have us to do next year. And so we have to definitely be in that habit of asking the Lord, is this a distraction or is this you actually trying to get my attention or wanting me to give my attention to something? Because again, you know, when God gives us an instruction or an assignment, we can be so laser focused that we miss out on those smaller things that he wants us to give our attention to in a given moment. And so hope that made sense. I hope that helps somebody. I hope that you guys are healthy and well. I will talk to you soon. God willing, love you bunches.